Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Yeah, previously we unboxed the Elecro ThinkNode M1. It's an e-ink Nordic NRF52840 based device. Yeah, you can see it. Wow, a lot, a lot of people are interested in the unbox. Yeah, we're going to flash the latest version of Meshtastic onto the ThinkNode M1. I wanted to demonstrate that because being a Nordic NRF52840, it's slightly different. Now, I'm in Device Manager here. I wanted to make sure to get the correct serial port. Uh, when you auto-detect in the flasher, you have to be really quick at checking at selecting the right port. So, to auto-detect, we want to quickly select that port and hit Connect. And it automatically detected its ThinkNode M1. Now, we can select the firmware. Oh, yeah, it opens up this Windows Explorer <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're going to download the latest image. You hit flash. Yeah, we're in DFU mode, it says. So DFU mode, the device opens up in Windows Explorer, and you drag and drop that uh, UF2 file that you download. Yeah, so let's see. This PC, yeah, it's there it is. It's there, waiting for me. Yeah, it says Elecro boot. So when you're in DF mode, DFU mode, it has to show up uh, like that. Okay, so we're going to show that in the folder. So there's my firmware. Let's get the other Windows Explorer open. That's my Elecro ThinkNode M1 in DFU mode. We drag that and drop it. And this happens every time. It's a little slow starting out, but any of these NRF 52840s, it'll copy most of the file, then it'll crap out, but you can just ignore it. Yeah, so I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. There it goes. And then it's going to crap out saying that, oh, I couldn't do it. Yeah, see? That's because it reboots. <laughs> and you just skip it. It's okay. It always looks like that. So I'm going to just show you the basic settings that you want to do out the gate. Nothing, uh, nothing outrageous here. So we're going to connect via USB. And we can see, yeah, Meshtastic FC52. Go to config, position is switched on, GPS mode is enabled. We're not going to change that because the ThinkNode M1 has, along with the e-ink display, has a GPS module in it. Okay, so I've set my region to U.S., hop limit to 5. Yeah, the 3, right now, Tucson's kind of sparse, so five, 5 works a little bit better. You can see there's unsaved changes after I set the frequency slot to 20. So those are your basic settings that you need to set every time you flash a new device. I had a unique opportunity. It's Rocket Weekend, way out on the other side of the Tucson Mountains. So I brought out some radios to test. You can see the ThinkNode M1 in the middle there. Got some rockets to fly. Yeah, that's the launch control and the launch site there. And my house is 32 miles in the other direction past that mountain. So I'm going to see, <laughs> here I am, on the ThinkNode F1. I've connected up with the Android app. Yeah, I got a good location fix. That's great. Yeah, those are those are correct coordinates there. Yeah, it even kind of captured me wandering around a little bit. I think that was as the GPS nodes connected and it zeroed in with a good location. Because I, di I didn't cover all that <laughs> territory. So now I want to see if I can send a direct message back to my house. That's uh, the Seed Studio indicator sitting in my bedroom window in the front of the house. We'll send a test message. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There's the check mark. We got the test message. That, so there's enough mesh in Tucson that I was able to go 32 miles from the middle of nowhere across the mountain. Let's see what that looks like on the map here. Let's see, drilling down. Yeah, you went too far out there. Let's go back to Tucson. I love this. I hope you're having a good time. You know, I, I, I'm the ro rocket launch controller for two hours, so I didn't have time to do any kind of detailed testing, like uh, trace routes, anything like that. Try to dig in and get more performance. But yeah, you see where, where are we at? Oh yeah, the 2591, that's one of my other devices. Yeah, EED4 is the Seed Studio indicator. And you see that's all the way over on the east side of Tucson right there that's cool you hover over it and it com comes up with a little thought bubble and then we scroll all the way over here and that was across the tucson mountains past the sonoran desert museum and past the world national monument all right 
let's take a look. So we've got seven satellites. And this is a really sturdy case. I think this is probably, I'm not going to say waterproof, but it seems like it's the most water resistant. There's not a lot of open exposure. I don't know how sealed it is on the inside, but really sturdy case. I, I like the little stubby antenna. It also has a backlight. You can control with the knob and switch it on and off with the middle button there. There's a switch to switch GPS on and off. And then there's a toggle backlight button. And here you can see out when you're outdoors, it's very readable. Uh, that's the advantage of e-ink. Now e-ink displays, some of them are sensitive to sunlight, so you don't want to leave it out in the sun for too long necessarily. But yeah, that's really great. We're out here at the rocket launch. Made it all the way back home. GPS tells us where we are. Yeah, that's, that's the Tucson Mountains there. And it was a good day launching rockets too. Yeah. <laughs> Got to fly a big Bertha there with a 4K GoPro camera. Anyway, look for the link to the product page down below. I really like the ThinkNode M1 from Elecro. And before you go watch more of my Meshtastic playlist, leave a comment down below, give this video a like, and then you can go watch the rest of the Meshtastic playlist. And thank you very much.